my old school told us like companies like Evergrande, Evergrande is not by, is not the only uh, property company you're doing that. Matter of fact, all, okay, this is very alarming. You have to hear what does it mean? All real estate companies that follow the CCP and play with the CCP rule, they're out. You know, they are all a Ponzi skin because the CCP are using those platform, those companies as a money launder, as a platform to steal money from the people and from the country. So let me explain. So the second fraudulent thing they did is loans. So Evergrande, as a real estate uh, development company, you know, you first you care about your cost. You care about how much you acquire your land for, right? Because you calculate the profits and everything. But Evergrande does not do that. OK, they don't care about the cost, as I just mentioned to you. The second, they don't care about whether they can sell the apartments or not. OK, so if it's a real business, you were thinking about supply demand and demand, right? You were thinking about mortgage, all those variables going to affect your market uh, prospects and you will know how much you can sell and how much you should build. None of mm -hmm. those are in their radar. They're not a business. So they built, 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 acquire land, acquire land, do what? Getting loans. Getting loans is their only goal. How are they getting loans? First of all, they would have land. So land can be collateral, right? It's a, it's a valuable item. So as soon as they have the land, they, they, they borrow money. Okay. As soon yep. as construction, they borrow money. The more units they built, the more they can appraise it and lift the price and and go to the appraisal company. Who controlled the appraisal company? I told you last time. I was in your program last time. The CCP, the same group of people, control the appraisal company. They control a number of banks. They control all the secondary financial institutions. So they are basically a Ponzi skin and play off everyone else. Okay. Let so me, let me let me make sure I'm getting this right. So they they buy a piece of property and then they get it appraised at five times the value. So they say they buy a piece of property for a hundred thousand dollars. They get it appraised at five hundred thousand. Then they have an asset worth 500,000 where they can go borrow money against an asset that they just inflated up five times the value. And then they can use that money to go purchase more Ponzi schemes. And That's it right. just, uh, That's right. 